All right, T1 Glistenoff here. We have a deck tech for you for something that's being requested quite a bit. This is a reanimator combo deck from Modern being played by... Do you mind if I show your face? Is that okay? All right. By my good friend, Danya. Mwahahaha. All right. So can you just run us through the deck just uh, quickly, see what we got? Well, what's the core? What's the heart of the deck? What's it trying to do? So you use Goryeo's Vengeance to reanimate either Grizzlebrand or Narset. G Mommy. Yeah. Okay. And after doing so, you can use things like Fear of the Horde. Yeah. And all the other ones. So he has 14 cards here that go and give him an extra combat step and untap the creatures. If you're trying to kill with Narset, you just need some combination of these for a run of turns. Um, if you're trying to kill with Grizzlebrands, you need Fury of the Horde and a, a critical mass of red cards. And you're just trying to swing in for 21 that turn, pretty much, right? Yeah. Alright, so you have Simeon Spirit Guy for the turn one kill, which is Simeon Simeon, Gor uh, some black card, or black land, Gorious Vengeance, after a Faithless Looting. Speaking of which, now let's get into the cards that actually enable this. So we've got four Faithless Lootings in the main board. We have two Is It Charms. Four Tigom Scheming. Tigom? Tigoms? Uh, Scheming? Tigoms. Tigoms. Okay, thank you. And then Noxious Revival to go and get things back. Get cards back. Uh, every now and then you'll see, you'll see a Noxious put one of these extra combat cards back on top for Narset to go hit again. That's always beautiful. And then our land base. Now we only have 16, you said, right? Yeah, only 16. Six fetch lands. Uh, we have Dark Slick, Black Cleave, three Gemstone Mine. Uh, the one basic is a Swamp. There's, oh, a lot of Glare. Watery Grave, Steam Vents, Blood Crypt, and Breeding Pool. And I might as well give you the, the names of the extra combat ones. There's four Relentless Assault, four Savage Beating, Four Fury of the Horde and two Waves of Aggression. Uh, now, what is it about Waves of Aggression? You you play four Savage and two Waves. Um, mainly, there's just not enough room. Ah, fair enough. And so I think these might be slightly cheaper. Maybe. Okay. And I think that's the only reason why I picked. Fair enough. Like price. Um, all right, so it's it's pretty linear in the main board, right? Your your strategy is pretty set. Dump them into the graveyard, and then reanimate them, and then kill them on that turn. You can kill them as soon as turn one in modern. Uh, it may not be the most consistent thing in the world, but both of the matches that he's played against me, he wins game one by killing me on turn two, which is pretty exciting. Even though I'm getting beaten, it's still pretty exciting to watch. Now, you have a sideboard too, don't you? All right. Now, yeah, let's just, you can just fan it out or however we're going to do this. Um, I'll come around to you. All right, so we're looking at two Besiju who shelters all for the counterspell matchups. Oh, that's a, yeah, that glare. Um, could you hold, yeah, there, oh, that's beautiful, that's perfect. You can even see the From the Vault shine. All right, so we're looking at an Anul next for artifact matches. Thoughtseize, and a, do, yeah, there we go, that's good. Uh, one Thoughtseize, Swan Song for Counterspell matches again. Now, you mentioned with Leyline of Sanctity that if you had more, you would play them in there, right? Yeah. Because a hand attack can be kind of brutal. Ideally, four would be best. Fair enough. Yeah. The one skull crack. Now, what's up with the skull crack? Uh, mainly for damage prevention things like story circle or COP uh, red or black core or firewalker. Core firewalker. That's a good Stuff one. Like that. Okay, fair enough. And destructive revelry. Uh, that's for leyline, right? It's. And, oh, rest in peace. Rest, rest in, in peace. peace. Not leyline. I'm sorry. We're just talking about leyline. I'm my bad. Yeah, no, that's good. Hit all the hate cards, pretty wow. much. Except Scoos, that's about the one. And then three duress? Uh, yeah, three duresses. Uh, yeah. And three dispels. Okay, so I see a lot of hate for the counterspell matchups, because you kind of can't win unless you resolve a Gorya's Vengeance, right? Yeah. Alright, makes sense. Alright, and this deck has... We think... We can't remember for sure, but I think it's gotten you a 4 out. It's gotten you... Yeah, some it's number going to be at least one. At least one? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, and some number of three ones. It's not a budget deck. You've got four grizzle brands. Look at that. Look at that land base. Uh, but it, it's also not 
you know, it's not exactly a vintage deck either. <laughs> That's not saying much. I shouldn't use that when trying to sell the deck. You can win with it. <laughs> there, there we go. That's all you need. All right. And that's T1 Glistener Elf with this deck tech signing out. All right, see you later.